So, I fell in the water because I was trying, you know, we're just near where the cabins were and I fell off fighting a slime, but it was a happy coincidence because there was a life crystal in there. So that's kind of nice. So we really needed that, but I think we've got more than enough equipment and life and all that good stuff now to give the Eye of Cthulhu a nice run for its money and I can see the two emeralds but I'm sure we'll live without that. So just need to get Piggy out, get our magic mirror, I should favourite that. And I, I never put my magic mirror in my top hop bar because I always mess it up and recall when I don't want to. <laughs> Which is, I'm sure we've all been there and it's really annoying. <laughs> You're like in a really good area, you're spelunking, you're having a great time. And then all of a sudden you hear that you hear that shrill noise and you're just like, no, I don't want to recall. Well, if we're gonna set up for our Eye of Cthulhu fight, then we definitely need to. We definitely need to be ready with a cool potion or two. So, actually archery. Oh, arrow speed. No, we'll save the Spelunker. So, okay. Actually, do I have sand? Then I could make a glass bottle so we can actually do some alchemy to make a potion. So, to make glass bottles, I'm pretty sure you just need about four glass. And then, yep. Beautiful. And I'm actually going to show you a, a trick for crafting an unlimited supply of water it's actually it's super useful and I'll do it here just for now so you basically you make a little square in the ground oh, I forgot to get water rats okay so you forget to get water and then you go and get some water <laughs> and then you recall back home but this is really cool and I only learnt this one recently so what you do is you put the water in a block and then, and this is the really cool part, so any recipe that needs water, such as making bottled water, then counts because this is a actual water block. So you can make as many blocks of water as you need. And I made one too many because I need a blank, I need a blank bottle of water to put on a table. So it's time to start crafting our arena. Now I've got all my inventory sorted. So we're going to need some platforms, and lots of them, and I think, let's make some different torches. I've noticed you can make pink ones, so I'm assuming with the different uh, types of gel that drop now, there's options to make, oh, that's so much better. Yeah, there's options to make different types of um, torches now, which is pretty cool. Let's make a block. And then just your standard sort of room to move, all that good stuff. And the reason I put a block on it is because to my knowledge you can't... You can now! Oh, finally! You, you were never able to place torches on platforms and that always used to annoy me because you had to put a block... Yes, yeah, something actually annoyed me. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Uh, five, six... Seven. I don't want to keep them too far apart. Yeah, it used to annoy me because you had to put blocks in your arena and often during a boss fight you would run into the block and take damage unnecessarily because you wanted to have a torch there. And it's like, well, you made me have the block because I want to see. Well, I don't know. Five, six, seven. Did I make it on the seventh one? I'm pretty sure. And I think that should do. So I'm going to go with the standard shuriken strategy where you just throw them straight in the air for most of the fight. And that's normally how I fight Eye of Cthulhu, so I don't see any reason to mix it up. But I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't fought him with a new character, so this could be... this could go quite poorly. <laughs> Alright, our arena's looking pretty nice. Uh, needs a campfire. Ooh, rain. Can anything good happen during the rain? 
fishing is easier. I know that much. But we're not set up for fishing just yet. Okay, that's looking good. So we just need... So during the fight we can be like grapple, grapple, jump, dodge, grapple. Yeah, that should work. The only issue is it mightn't be wide enough, but hey. What can you do? I'm not going to spend three years making it the biggest arena in all the world. There we are. Oh, this is great. Let's pick those up. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, let's see what armor we can make here. So let's get all our ores in our inventory or our bars. So the best would be platinum, but I probably want the platinum pick really. Because that can mine meteorite. So yeah, no, I think we'll Yeah, I'll upgrade to that. Oh yuck. Oh well, it's still better. I'll keep the silver one just in case this one's really slow. But it looks like it'll be fine. So for armor, silver would be best. Oh, I'm not going to have enough bars though. 45, 20, 50, 75. But I could probably make the helmet and the greaves. Oh, I can just make them. Yes. That's cool. Okay, so I won't get the set bonus. but So we're five now. That puts us up to eight. And maybe I can just make some iron. While we're waiting to fight the Eye of Cthulhu tonight, I think it's time to do a little bit of uh, base expansion, especially in the sense that we've got lots of clay for clay pots, and I would really like to expand our base around here up the top. So material-wise, I've kept some of the rich mahogany, which I've been liking for the back wall. However, that said, we've collected lots of plank walls as well. I've got some stone to work with. Um, got anything else? Got more rich mahogany wall. That's cool. We've got some cool deco stuff. So I think the first thing we need to do is make a bit of a, a planting room. Um, and that could be an outside sort of thing. Uh, outside up the top. So we'll do a, a speed build. I love doing speed builds. So let's get this started. So it's time to get some of our amazing seeds growing in our new garden. So we've got deathweed, daybloom, waterleaf and blinkroot. Gee, that seed pack was fantastic. Really liked that. So we've made a forging room up here that has our gems and our iron bars in. It's got some weapon racks, got all the sawmill and the loom, which is kind of cool. And I haven't done too much up here. I want to get the Dryad to get the new planter boxes. Um, they're fantastic and they're sort of in the theme as well. And I want to build the theme blocks underneath like I have done in, was it the Gavin playthrough? I think I did that. So all we're going to do at the moment is just get 
all the seeds in, start getting them growing. Um, it's the quickest way to start duplicating them all. So that's a pretty good start there. Just getting ready for tonight's battle with the Eye of Cthulhu, I thought we'd make some last minute preparations. And one thing I thought I might try, just because I'm not really going to use tin for much else anyway, is I thought we might try and roll a few bows and just see what we get. Um, ooh, fishing line. I want to do fishing next episode too. Um, so yeah, so tin, we've got 26. Uh, where is a tin bow? Tin, tin, tin. So they take seven, so I could have four shots. I just thought if we got a good modifier on one, like we did on our wooden one, because arrows do pretty good damage too. Zealous, no, 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 no good. We could try an iron one. Mmm. Oh, I've got another uh, mana crystal too. That's cool. Okay, so iron bow. Let's try. Mm, try one more. Nah, just normal. And then we can use the glowing mushrooms from our mushroom biome that's close by to upgrade them. So you just need glowing mushrooms and regular health potions. And you can craft the better ones that heal 100 damage. So that's cool. So I think that's about as ready as we're going to be. So let's make our way down to the arena. Oh, that's right. I wanted to make a door for there too. A door. There's no door on there. There we go. That's better. Gotta have doors. I set a spawn point too. So I just made a little change to the arena. Uh, what I've done is I made it a bit longer. And you might notice I've put sunflowers in, which I didn't realize, but they've been buffed. Well, I knew they had a happy buff because I love just the sake, the fact that they say happy, but they actually increase your movement speed too, which is, which is really, really cool. Um, so going into this fight, I just hope we're fast enough for the eye of Cthulhu because it moves a lot quicker now. Okay, guys, the night has fallen. And we've got our weapons ready, so I've put all my, my ranged weapons together so I can quickly change during the fight. I've made a regen potion out of a mushroom and a daybloom flower. And we've got our archery potion out, so... Oh, I don't know how we're going to go here, but uh, wish us luck. I'm going to try my... U Whoa! <laughs> I can see already... I can see already that he's faster than in normal mode. Oh my god. And he's spewing out those eyeballs like anything. So, uh, I was just going to try and use my shuriken strategy, but, uh, yeah, I don't think I can only use shurikens. Um, so it looks like part of this fight is dealing with the eyes, because he spawns a lot of them. Um, but at least the shurikens can deal with that. And another way to get some damage up is just to shoot straight up too because the arrows still fly as long as you can stay in a rough area. Ah, goodness. Um, you can see he doesn't seem to stay still as long as he does in uh, normal mode. Normally uh, Aya Cthulhu will just stand there for ages and let you pummel him with whatever. Looks like that's not the case here. Okay. It looks like you can inflict the on fire debuff on him too, which is kind of cool. The damage all helps, doesn't it? Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> the only thing, uh... I mean, if we, if we don't win this now, I, I'm interested in trying to make Jester Arrows, which you make from, um, Fallen Stars and... Fallen Stars and Normal Arrows. Uh, because they do piercing, so that could be useful. Uh, the other thing I would mind trying is getting some boots. <laughs> I don't have any boots, so even though we've got the sunflowers down, I'm still pretty darn slow. Uh, okay, let's get... So the shurikens are good with getting rid of the excess eyes. Uh, let's get... Oh, here we go. Alright, he's in his second form. 
All right. Oh my God. There's eyeballs everywhere. Ah, go away. <laughs> All right. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, you're not too tough. You silly eye. Yeah, take that. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. That is too fast. Oh my god. You can't dodge that. Ah, he's doing it again. Oh my gosh. I think I need to use some grenades. <laughs> oh my god. He's doing like 40 damage. <laughs> oh no. I can't stop to grapple. He's too fast. Oh. Oh no. Don't take... Oh no, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, we're so close. Oh. oh no! Oh my gosh, yes! Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I actually just did a fist pump in the air. <laughs> Hope I'm recording. Holy moly, that is insane. Treasure! What are we gonna get? Well, it's the you get the Kapulu shield, don't you? Yeah, check it out. Yes. So, I've never actually looked at it too closely. Strong knockback, and you can dash. Okay, that's pretty cool. Holy moly, we were one hit away from dying. That's just not. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Okay, guys, we did it. We managed to defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh my gosh. If he, like, he's the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> And that was so hard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be a world of pain, this uh, this playthrough. But do you know what? I love it. I think it's amazing. I can't wait to fight the other bosses. It's just going to be so good. So, look, thanks so much for watching. Show this uh, show this series some support, guys. It's a daily, daily Let's Play. It's a bonus. It's on top of every all the other content that we have on our channel. So, uh, yeah, just, just show it some love and I'll keep it coming out each and every day. Okay, it's time for some shout-outs as always. We've got Ryan Lamb, who's asked me to say happy days with my tongue poking out. But I guess I gotta have my tongue out like this. And I'm gonna say it in three, two, one, happy days. Oh my god, I'm like the best at that. Wow, that's just... I can talk so good like that. Alright, we've got Devin Smith, who's asked me to say... <laughs> it's a Lord of the Rings reference, and it's when um, oh, the orcs eat one of the goblins, and he goes, Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, we've got Razor Knight 1 has asked me to say, in an epic voice... I've just noticed how many eyeballs are floating around. I might summon a Stardust Dragon just to deal with those. Thank you very much. Uh, he's asked me to say in an epic voice, Potato Master Race. Dun, dun, dun. We've got Gillian Delaney. He's asked me to say, Ten tigers take ten taxis. <laughs> ten tigers take ten taxis to ten towns in ten hours. Oh, that was fail. And we've got Josh Delvera to has asked me to say the hardest tongue twister in the world. It's Pad Kid Pored Curd Pulled Cold. Pad kid poured curd pulled cold. I'm saying it okay, but not fast enough. All right, let's try really fast. <gasps> Pad kid poured curd. Nah, 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 can't do it. Nah, can't do it. All right, guys, hope you're enjoying this daily expert mode series. I'm having a ball doing it. It's really hard. And oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and keep as under, well, not underpowered, but, you know, just at a normal level. So we're not trashing bosses. But based on that Eye of Cthulhu fight, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I was lucky to uh, make that one out alive. All right, leave a like, guys. Thanks for all the support for this series. Keep those comments coming. Keep the suggestions coming. I'm going to show you a really good trick in the next episode. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. 
And here's the most important part as well. As I'm tongue tied. Here's the most important part as always. You stay happy, and I'll see you next time. This is Happy Dave signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you could see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!